Okay, it is time to put this in the library. Before I do, I'm just gonna delete this flip reference. This was just like, it showed up being red anytime I was on this side of the flip, and it wasn't red on that side of the flip. But it's easy enough to copy and paste from one side to the other and then swap on the, uh, the side of the body that you need. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I don't have any other like displays hanging around that I don't need. Looks like everything's pretty clean and as organized as it can be. I've left notes, include in full body tilt. Oh, actually, let's name that properly. In um, torso and legs, MC. MCs. Okay. So this is now ready to save to the library. I am gonna come here. Now, uh, during this time that I've made this so that the potato can turn in a 360 instead of a 180, I added more um, nodes, I reorganized some stuff. I want to make sure that all these um, master controllers are plugged in right. I'm using my cable cutters, Control Shift C is what I like to use. Select those all, holding control, plug them in. Now they're all in order, that looks nice. I'm gonna press save again. Okay, so I do not, please do not rename this group because if you do, you have the potential of ruining all of your master controllers and they won't be able to find what's inside. Um, if you were to rename this group and put like a V2 or something, you wouldn't be able to copy from one file to another a lot of the time if you want to copy a, a pose. So when we update the rig number, all we do is we update the backdrop. That's it, okay? None of these pegs. I've seen that mistake a lot of times. All right, so now I'm gonna save this and I am going to select the backdrop. And, and before I do, I'm gonna save this out file, save as, and I'm going to call it PTO V02. Okay, I get rid of the, the D, the A, B, C, D. Sometimes I put dates on it, but then when it's the actual finished version, I call the file PTO V02. All right, so now I am going to open up my library and go to my library, and I'm going to put it in the potato right to modify. So there's version one. Maybe I'll need it someday. Probably won't because I haven't animated with it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Uh, PTO underscore V02. And remember, in order for me to come here, I had to right click and choose right to modify it. Unlocked it, gave me permission. So now I'm going to come in, right click and choose edit template. So this is gonna open up another instance of Harmony so that I can clear off what I don't need the animators seeing. Different people do it different ways and I'll just show you how I'm gonna do it this time. I don't always do it this way, but a lot of the time people will just push all these together. So you just have the main poses of the rig. And then after that, I like to leave the note stuff directly after that. And maybe I'm going to color them all purple or something, or I'll do them all white. No, purple, because that was the. Yeah, I'll just call it, color them all purple. And then here with these uh, reusable poses, I'll put those down here right after. Okay. And I'm just going to insert a keyframe on everything just to make sure everything got keyframed. And then I'm going to shift select all of them and I'm going to set it all to stop motion keyframes. It's usually control L. And now I'm gonna delete everything past there. The animators don't need all this stuff. Delete that. Um, they can get it all with master controllers and stuff. And then I'm gonna go scene, scene length, and I'm gonna trim it down to just where I am, so 24. So now when they bring it in, they're gonna have this. 
and then they can edit it and adjust it how they need to and they can use master controllers to get all of those other torso turns and torso tilts and stuff so now i'm going to press save yes we always get this warning when we press save in the template view remember the way that you know that you're in the template view is when you hover over any of these windows the the mouse focus the little green line around the box and there's also not a display or a write note it's, it's very uh, cleaned up and tidy here so now this character is ready for you to drop it into any scene and um, animate so that's a whole nother set of lessons is how we animate how we set up scenes okay one last note is I'm going to I, I told you that I saved it as vo2 but I'm actually gonna save it as vo2 build file that way you'll know um, this is the one that has all the reference this is the one that has all of the the mouth sequences and stuff if we ever had to open it up and adjust some stuff we'd want to update this file so I'm going to save this and um, can't I'm going to close down harmony so now I'm going to go to my file and I'm going to click on it vo2 build file I'm going to right click I want to make sure there's nothing in the frames oh there was I don't want those delete and I don't want anything in audio just want to make sure the file size is good okay now I'm gonna right click and choose send to compressed folder I'm zipping it six megs great I'm gonna save that and put it into um, the place where all of my stuff lives I'll go ahead and just show you huh um, so here's this potato we go into source TV rig so there was the version one and then here's the version two so I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna paste it here and I'll go ahead and put this one into the archive I don't want to ever have to figure out what's the newest thing just I open this file this is the only one that's there this is the newest thing and I am gonna go ahead and get to my um, Toon Boom library go to the PTO all right so this one this is where I was in the library in Toon Boom and saved it so this is the template file so this is the one that's trimmed down this is just the one that the animators are going to use quite often um, when you're giving a file to another studio they'll only give this one away I am going to go ahead and right click and choose send to compressed folder now that's zipped I'll copy and paste this here and I will say that uh, if I know that these are both good I now like unzip them again open them up again I might go back through and uh, delete um, I might go through and delete all of these other ones that I was using today um, on my way to getting there these are just nice to have as backup in case harmony crashes it hardly ever does for me um, but if it does I could get back to one of these other files where at least I had done some of the work um, and so maybe I will save some of them in case I need to touch up some of these videos and get back to a, a spot in the rigging where I wasn't quite as far and so I'm just gonna like zip all of these really quick and um, save them all in the archive so they're all zipped and I can go to the rig and put them in the archive yeah see usually I'm naming them with the date on the end instead of just a letter but I knew that I would be done with this today and you can see these dates here anyway so um, then it's done now I just gotta upload it so you guys can access it so, all right see ya see you soon